Why are all ghosts banned from the alcohol store? Because they always steal all the booze. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and welcome back to some more Crundy Crab. This is episode 14 and uh, when we left off, if you guys remember, we tried to make Craner go insane with silence. <laughs> I wonder how that went. Anyway, so uh, dudes, I have some bad news. Before I look up, uh, just know Craner got us back for our silence troll. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is probably one of his better trolls. Craner, well freaking played. So uh, before I look up, uh, check this out. Dear Sunday, would you like to look up? <laughs> would you? As you can see, there's a giant tree. This is payback for cursing me with fake mobs running after me constantly. It's very scary, so I decided Let's make his entire base really dark. So, that real mobs would constantly spawn. Lel. Yours truly, Craner. If you dudes aren't familiar with our, uh, uh, Sky Factory 1 series, there's a massive freaking tree. Check this out. D yes. <laughs> Craner spawned a sacred rubber sapling above our base. Look at the map. I'm gonna sp look, look at this map. <laughs> this is me right here. And this is the tree. Look at this. I'm gonna hit F7 and look at this. <laughs> look at all of these red X. Every single one of these red X is where a mob can spawn. <sighs> well, <laughs> well, freaking played, Crater. A anyways, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so I did. I had some plans for today, and I'm still gonna hopefully get to those plans. But first, I uh, let me take a selfie. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so. There's no way that I could let this troll go unanswered. In between episodes, I made another scarecrow. If you dudes remember, we made a scarecrow before. So what I need to do, we're gonna have to do a crap ton of different rituals. You dudes know us. We do a lot of rituals here on the Sunday channel. <laughs> so we're gonna summon some things. We're gonna do some rituals and we're gonna bind something to this scarecrow just like we did before and uh crater's not gonna like this very much <laughs> let me set this up okay so here we go first thing we need to do if you guys remember this i believe from last episode or the episode before what we have to do is throw down a drop of luck raw pork chop gold ingot and arthana okay and then if we right click this uh is it gonna work uh Yes! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember me doing this, but look at this. It's a spectral pig. H Hello, piggy. Oh, uh, hey, piggy, it's nothing personal. Oh, he's so cute and he's invisible. I gotta kill him. I gotta get his... Oh, the blood... Oh, good lord. The blood moon is rising. Oh, okay, come here, piggy. Would you... D die already! C c come here, piggy! Oh, okay. okay, there we go. We have the spectral dust. C c c it must be a diarrhea party. Thanks for not inviting me. A anyways. <laughs> okay. Oh, and perfect is... Oh, look at that moon. It's the blood moon. Oh! <laughs> And it makes everything have like a red tint to it. Uh, lucky for us, it doesn't matter. We have a giant tree over our heads. Uh, okay, so the next thing we need to do needs to be done at night. So this is perfect timing. Okay, so we need to throw out wood ash, a tune stone. Uh, let me back up. Uh, throw out the wood ash, uh, iron sword, bone, uh, rotten flesh, and spectral dust. And if we right click that, is this going to work? 
Come on! I it's, it's ritual sound. I yeah, I don't know any ritual sound. There we go. Okay, necrotic stone. Okay. Yeah, and look at this. If you try to sleep through the night, look at this. It tells you you don't feel tired right now. Oh, listen, skeleton. Oh my gosh, this coloring. This is pretty cool though. Okay, so uh, we have, I believe we have everything we need to perform this ritual. We have an attuned stone. I listen, s skeleton or zombie. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, this is creepy. Okay, uh, next thing we need to do is uh, we need to make three. <sighs> Seriously, get out of my face. There are so many mobs. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we have to summon three spectras. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure we have everything. We have a slot zombie. L listen, wait. Why are you here? It's not even... Oh, good lord. <laughs> okay, so what we have to do, we're gonna have to perform the first ritual, which is... Uh, okay, so let's throw down slime ball and redstone, and then activate... Okay, okay, activate slime ball, redstone, activate that. Okay. So what this first ritual does, there we go, it activated. What this is doing is anything inside of this inner circle, if anything enters that circle, they cannot leave that circle. Uh, okay, the next thing I need to do is now it's time to summon the Spectras. <laughs> Let's turn into a, 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 a wasp. <laughs> this is gonna suck. Okay, so what we have to do is throw uh, a wool of bat in there in all three of these with wormwood and also graveyard dust. Okay, there we go. Yeah, check this out. Look at this uh, mummy. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you doing the moonwalk? What, what are you doing in there? Come and come get me. Oh, that's what that ritual does. Okay, so now that that's done, I believe I have everything to do this. What I have to do is I'm gonna have to. I can listen. Can you just not? I'm I'm busy. I'm busy performing rituals. Good lord. Okay. So once I summon, let me get the flint and steel. Once I summon these three. I'm gonna have to perform this next ritual extremely fast. Okay, you dudes ready? Ah, go! Okay, one, two, three, there we go. Once these three spawn, I'm gonna have to spawn in three spirits. Ext okay, let me throw, let me throw the bowline down, the scarecrow down, the attuned stone, and the necrotic stone, and then we gotta get ready for these uh, spirits. Are they gonna summon? No! No! <laughs> Look at them! Okay, let's summon all three of these spirits. One spirit, two spirit, three spirit, and then we have to hit the circle. Go! Actually, you know what? I did that backwards. Oh, okay, so we have a spectra there, a spectra there. Where's the third spectra? Alright, spe uh, over there. Spectra, come over here! No! Look how much damage they do! Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, so we're gonna have to throw all the 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 the, the slime, the redstone, the bowline, uh, the necrotic stone, the attuned stone. Uh, uh, what else? On the scarecrow? Is there anything else? All right, it's the moment of truth. If we activate this. Uh, okay, so it's gonna activate the shield effect first. There we go. And now get three, three spirits. Three spirits are stuck in there. Yes! Oh! It worked! Okay, so if I, if I remember, okay, let's turn back into ourself. So what that did is it took the spirits, the three spirits and the three sentinels and infused it with this scarecrow and there it is this scarecrow is now called a sentinel scarecrow and what this thing does is freaking terrifying oh if you guys remember my yelling scarecrow what that sounded like this thing is 10 times worse
<laughs> let me show you what this does. Let me get uh let me get a uh 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 uh, uh, uh tag lock with my DNA in it. Okay, so there we go. We have our tag lock kit that's bound to me. Okay. So what this sentinel does, check this out. Let me uh so what I'm gonna do is let me turn into a, a wasp so I can actually get away from this. This is freaking terrifying if what I read is correct. Okay, so let's throw down this set or this scarecrow, right? And then let's right click it with the bowline. Okay, there we go. Look at this! <laughs> so what this does is anybody that comes in close to this scarecrow, it'll spawn sentinels to attack them. <laughs> So these sentinels are gonna attack me if I'm ever close to the scarecrow. Okay, let's hit it again. Uh, activate for players in blacklist. Hold on. I want to see if I can target it towards these mummies. Yeah, look at this. These sentinels are now attacking the mummies. Hold on. Let's see if we can get a, uh, a zo- Oh, I gotta deactivate this. Uh, <laughs> the poor zombie's doing a moonwalk. Actually, I'll leave. You know what, zombie? You can sit in there and think about what you've done. Uh, oh, look, is the sentinel gonna attack him? Or is the sentinel stuck in there? Would you guys please just go away? Oh, oh there's- listen, I just cannot get over how they sound when they die. Listen. Oh, that is so disturbing. Okay, let's pick up this scarecrow. And again, let's take it to Craner's house. All right, Craner. <laughs> you want to cover my house with a tree? <laughs> Let's do it. You, you want to send enemies at me? I'm going to send 10 times stronger enemies at you. <laughs> okay, let's dig down here uh, to the center. Oh, right now. Look at there. Th 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 there's his silence. <laughs> okay, so let's place down the sentinel right there. Okay, and then let's activate. Oh, good lord. Let's let's turn into a wasp first. I want to make sure I can do this correctly. I don't want to die. Okay, uh, right, okay, uh, right click it. Okay, no! Oh, it says activate for players in blacklist. They would have just destroyed me right then. Oh, okay, we got to kill these things. I can't even hear them. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, he won't even know they're coming. Okay. Let's click it again. Uh, activate. Activate for players not in whitelist. There we go. Now, Craner will have no idea. <laughs> so next time Craner logs on and comes to his house, he's not going to know what freaking hit him. But he, but he will get two shot. Don't mess with me again, Craner. I'll send something worse at you next time. Alright, so there's one more thing that I want to do. What I was planning on doing before I, I saw this massive tree. Uh, Kid gave a, uh, I guess a quest. A mission to me and Craner. Our goal for this series is to destroy all of the divine RPG bosses. So what I want to do is, uh, let's drop down here. What I want to do, since we can go to the end now. Um, I want to make an OP pickaxe. Once we get to the end, I'll show- Oh, good. S seriously? D do you know what I just killed? I killed an invisible dude that could two-shot me. G get wrecked. Okay, so what I want to make is I want to make an OP pickaxe, and we're going to go to the end. All right, so there we go. I just made two magical wood with our fluid transposer. Uh, you dudes remember that. Okay, so what we need to do, let's go in our part builder, and let's make a magical... Uh, let's, okay, so, uh, that, there we go. Okay, a magical tool rod. And we get a magical shard. Not, not sure what the heck that is. Uh, okay, let's make a magical wood tool binding. There we go. And I made a mandolin pickaxe head, which, uh, you dudes know how I make that in the smeltery. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is make, uh, a magical tool rod. Okay, so this should give us, I believe, six modify- why is it only two modifiers? I right, listen, you, spider. I ah, <laughs> uh, Craner, you uh, freaking tree. Uh, okay, what? 
Why is it only two modifiers? There should be a crap ton more. Yeah, I have no clue. Let's, uh, okay, let's take this. We have two modifiers on it now. What I need to do is level this thing up a crap ton. And then we're gonna head to the end. All right, so there we go. I just grabbed a bunch of lapis from our ender quarry. And now let's go back down here and let's see if we can level up our pick. It should be one more. Is it? There we go. Okay, so we got plus reinforced and we have plus one modifier. That's perfect. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep doing this. Uh, is it almost there? Um... One more time. Oh, it's gonna break soon. Alright, uh, let's do it. Alright, diorite, go! There we go. Oh, we got plus one repair on it also. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this should be able to work now. If we take all of this lapis and turn it into... Not all. Yeah, let's keep some of it. Take all this lapis and then throw the lapis onto the pickaxe. Oh, there we go. So what this is doing, this is giving the pickaxe luck. And what luck does is luck gives it a fortune effect. So if we spam a crap ton of lapis onto here, this sh okay, so two modifiers remaining. Yeah, there we go. If you look at the bottom of the pickaxe, we have fortune one. All right, let's use the rest of our lapis. Uh, okay, did we get luck? Uh, we're, we're still on fortune one. <laughs> I just put 214 pieces of lapis on here. What kind of crit? L listen, Ender Quarry, you're gonna have to go faster. I need, <laughs> I need more, I need more lapis. Oh god, what a, f what kind of crap was that? Yeah, I guess in the meantime we're gonna hit the caves and uh, go looking for lapis. Before we go to the end. We're gonna have an OP pickaxe. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my time. But uh, anyways, dudes, while I'm doing this mining, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And of course, if you have, be sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. And also, hit that subscribe button. Oh, is this, is that, is, is this? Oh, that's shiny ore. I needed shiny ore. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. Oh, good Lord. And we'll see you dudes next time.